Uh, so for me, the biggest reason that I came back is um, I did make a lot of strides, not just because I uh, met a lot of li like-minded business owners that really wanted to push forward, um, but I felt some accountability is what I need. I'm a slacker if I'm allowed to be, and I think um, just even small amounts of accountability or know that somebody knows if I don't do something, it, it makes a difference in my life. Yes, and so tell me this year what have you learned so far um this year my biggest takeaway which I, I probably should have taken away in 2019 but um i spend money on the losers i i shop in impulse i buy because i want to buy and not necessarily because the numbers are telling me to buy so i think um after looking through my profit margins i realized that i don't necessarily need a bigger warehouse but i need to shave down because my profits just aren't there. So I'm gonna try, fingers crossed, mm -hmm. to um, cut down the bottom 20% of the items and then reinvest that money into things that rent out consistently. That make money. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I have just one more question for you. If you someone came to you and said, okay, should I go next year? What do you say? How would you, what would you say to somebody to encourage them to come to Roadmap? You know, like, so the people that have asked me already, uh, I told them, number one, if you are not ready to make serious changes and to like kind of look faults in the eye, I wouldn't come, I wouldn't waste your money. Um, and if you are ready, I would come prepared with your numbers and be prepared to see things internally that let you, you know, because most of the issues that you're gonna find out are inside of your business are you specifically. Mm -hmm. So just be ready to kind of look in that mirror and um, deal with those things up front. Thank you so much, Kayla. I appreciate you. And have fun tonight.